You probably haven't thought about shopping for a bank account the way you shop for literally anything else, but not every savings account is the same, and it's worth your time to look around for the best option. Mary's gonna break down how to find the best bank account for you. Shopping for the right bank may not have the same appeal as shopping for a sports car or a beautiful outfit. But trust me when I say that it's important. You'll not only want to research the right institution, but also the right account type. A high-yield savings account, money market account, or money saving up are among the best places to store your emergency funds. What they all have in common is letting you access your money when you need it and providing you with guaranteed safety. That's super important. When the account is offered by a federally insured bank or credit union, you will get your money back up to $250,000 if the financial institution fails. Not all savings accounts are created equally though. When you're shopping for a new account, look for the account's annual percentage yield or APY and whether it charges you a monthly fee. You'll want the former to be high and the latter to be low. You can compare savings APYs from different banks right here on bankrate.com. Some banks also offer cash bonuses for opening new accounts. Certain techniques resonate with aspiring savers more than others. Here are some of the most popular strategies that can help you build healthy savings habits. One, create your budget or fine tune it. To save, you first need to know where your money is going. Start by looking at your expenses and income sources. Next, determine what you can afford to spend each month. Make cuts where necessary and set a savings goal that's realistic. Two, develop a savings rhythm. It doesn't matter how much you start with, even a dollar counts. It's about getting into the groove of regularly saving. You can increase the amount over time. Just make sure you've signed up for a bank account that doesn't charge you for having a low balance. Three, automatically save. One way to achieve a savings rhythm is to set up regular transfers from your checking account into your savings account, or to split your paycheck's direct deposit into two different accounts. Pro tip, consider keeping these accounts at separate financial institutions. You might be less tempted to spend your savings if you don't see the balance every time you log into your bank account. Four, save unexpected income. If you don't need the money to pay your bills, put extra funds like tax refunds into your emergency fund. Five, boost your income. If your wages are low and your bills are high, you'll likely need another source of income. Consider freelance work or a part-time job to try to uncover savings. Some apps like Steady can help you discover new income sources. Six, celebrate success. As your savings account grows, reward yourself for your progress. Perhaps take a yoga class or go on a hike or buy something small. So we know how to build a budget based on a regular income. But what if your paychecks look different from month to month? For hourly workers, freelancers, and anyone with an irregular income, the challenge can be more difficult. If that sounds like you, we have some tips on how to consistently build your savings. To start saving, you may want to try these three moves. One, you'll want to understand the frequency of when your income changes so that you can determine how much you need. In surplus weeks, remind yourself that it's not extra money, it's money to put in your savings. Two, consider trying a mobile savings app, uh, like Digit, that will do the math for you on what you can afford to save at any given time. And three, consider zero-based budgeting. This budgeting approach requires you to get to zero every month. If you have $2,000 for the month, you will give every dollar a job, whether it's rent, fun money, or savings. Then you start over in the next month. Whether your paychecks are big or small, regular or inconsistent, the important thing is just to be intentional and keep at it. Over time, saving money will become a habit that you don't even have to think about. We'll cover different apps that can help you out in the next video. Lesson three.